What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Best Damn Deck here on TCG University for the game Universes. My name is Tam, and today I'm going to be telling you why I believe Yoshimitsu is the Best Damn Deck in Universes. So, what we're going to be doing for all of my new kids, the reason you're watching this video is to see if Yoshimitsu is a character that you would want to play. I believe that every character on my Best Damn Deck series has the ability to win a PTC or higher playing cards and combos that you get to come up with and I'm going to tell you some some ways my opinions on the character. So what we're going to go over in this video is what the character does, why is that thing good, interesting interactions with the character, overcoming the weaknesses of the character, and then my final thoughts as a whole. So Yoshimitsu, what does he do? Yoshimitsu is a five hand size character with 29 vitality. He has all chaos and death as his three symbols. He says enhance a check of five colon your next printed high attack gets plus three damage your next printed mid attack gets plus three speed response once per turn after you make a check that check gets plus two period if the checked card was a weapon card it has the weapon keyword on it draw two cards what do they do in a nutshell yoshimitsu throws really big bombs on pretty much all of his attacks after his first ones he stacks up some stats, is, is another way you can play him, and then once per turn he gets to cheat having two foundations, as well as if you get lucky enough that you checked a weapon, you get to draw two additional cards, making you a 29 life, 29 vitality 7-hander for that turn. That, card, that ability is playable on both players' turns, so both on my turn and your turn, so I'm a nine-hander. We don't have to use those terms. Nine-hander, okay? So what does uh, what does he do? Here's what I mean by uh, big bombs. You ready? So after I make my check of the five on the en enhance, he gives plus three damage and plus three speed floating. So I've got a plus three, plus three. If the next card that I play is a mid attack, the plus three speed gets applied to that attack, but the other plus three damage is still floating out there. So if I play a, if I make another check, I now have a plus six, plus three floating. So it's really possible to go mid attack, mid attack, mid attack, mid attack, high attack, that high attack is a thousand damage, or high attack, high attack, high attack, high attack, mid attack, now, my mid attack is very, very fast. It's uh, really interesting the lines that you play. And versus Yoshimitsu, you don't have to necessarily hold low blocks. Asterix. Wink. So, uh, why, is this, uh, why is this character good? So, this character is just really generically good at playing the game. He has a very set win condition, which is take your vitality and drop it to zero. And the way that he does this is by giving a bunch of stats on stuff by checking a five. And slash or, every time that he successfully does make a check, he gets to draw two additional cards. This is really good for playing out more foundations. So, the next turn you get to play more cards uh, or play bigger longer attack strings or i have blocked with a card and i get to respond increase my check by two meaning i don't have to commit two resources in order to pass my check and then i've drawn two more blocks in order to continue to not die i get to, to stretch out that 29 life further and further and further in addition to that there are some really really good weapon cards in the game right now with the idea that I'm thinking of, like, Steel Resurrection is a fantastic card. It is a card that says it ignores all weapon cards in my card pool as you play it. It's also a high attack, so it's possible that I can string Steel Resurrections, and they are 8 damage attacks at the end of a bunch of chains. You can play really high difficulty weapon cards as long as you check well enough on your first one, and that first one is a weapon card. It's possible you can play the card mm, Guilty Throne. Guilty Throne is a really cool card that you can play. It is a 7 difficulty weapon attack that if you check a 5 control check weapon foundation as Yoshimitsu with Guilty Throne as the first card that you play, you passed it and drew 2 cards. And Guilty Throne says you draw an additional 3 cards. And Guilty Throne says that you can stack 2 cards on top of your deck to make sure that you keep passing checks. Or you can stack 2 Steel Reses and draw them up. There's a lot of really fantastic awesome abilities that you can play with Yoshimitsu these fun devastating lines that you can play and you can play one of his cards ghost thief funeral it's a six mid for six if you trigger Yoshimitsu even one time it's a nine mid for six that dart is so so fast on turn two um and being able to play it as your second card and not have to commit any foundations because of the uh, because of the ability, the, the response check draw, super, super strong. 
All right, so on to interesting interactions with this character. So we talked a little bit about the guilty throne aspect. We talked a little bit about the steel resurrection as as aspect. But let's talk about some more niche creative things, right? So... Uh, at time of recording, this card will be rotating out, but you can find similar cards like it. There's a card called Artifice Avarice that says, it has a static that says, after it's checked, draw one card. Very good in a character that on every attack played in the entire game, or my attacks, your attacks, I can check a five and my next attack gets plus three or plus three. So I'm constantly making checks on top of my deck. Maybe I gotta find that that card. I find the Avarice. It's like, an, it's like a little baby Yoshimitsu trigger. Oh, I checked it. I'll draw an extra card. I'll sculpt a little better and go so on and so forth. Uh, in addition to that, there is a card out of the Yu Hakusho set called Rando's Spirit Gun. It is a five difficulty with a two check that says enhance if this attack is proceeded by an attack card or a face down card you get to use your characters once per turn abilities an additional time this turn one more time so that says that yoshimitsu now has two triggers of response check gets plus two draw two cards if you check a weapon so you can play these really big crazy extender turns and if you need to yes i did say rando spirit gun is a two check but sometimes in yoshimitsu it's a four check which is spectacular it's not a weapon a card so you don't get to draw the two cards but that's okay not checking a two whenever you need to check the four in order to win the game super relevant being able to just respond i'll pass this check i get to do it again later not that big a deal maybe i didn't draw two on this time but i'll draw two next time because i get to, i get a chance to do it again i get to re-roll the dice super super strong ability in addition to that we can also play a death control build that's all about reversals just which is crazy good reversals as he is playing the game he wants to respond and enhance check these five check these five check these five my next high attack might get 15 damage boom i'm gonna play a curse splat and smack you for your whole life i'll play i'll play a a mid attack reversal and then it's gonna get a thousand speed you're not gonna block it if i have any sort of way to increase the damage equal to the speed like I believe it's a dad's great shears. It's the Zasimo reversal. It's right here. You can look at it. They've all got weird names. You can increase its damage equal to its speed. If you were given plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three reversal, it's like 15 damage that you're tossing on your opponent. 15 speed, 15 damage, plus its stats, plus whatever else you got. Some really, really, really strong, strong stuff. Overcoming Yoshimitsu's weakness. So I think the biggest weakness with Yoshimitsu, honestly, is he's got a lot of moving pieces. You are in a small risk of decking yourself out if your opponent sets up a really good wall. So make sure that you're not checking that five every single chance that you get. Really use it sparingly, knowing when you're when you need to have it happen. If you're th threatening for game and you need to have the speed or damage on your kill turns or if you're gonna hit a big reversal or if you're posturing that you're gonna hit a big reversal in order to play a little mind games with them just be careful you might deck yourself out it, it, i've seen it happen it happens especially with the draw two in addition to that whenever you are yoshimitsu it's sometimes that the top five cards that you draw for your turn are not gas and so i'll build a couple foundations and then i will check my weapon i'll draw my two and there's my two attacks well I have to wait a turn. I could have I could have been a seven hander, but I am Yoshimitsu. I've got twenty-nine life. I'm a five hander, so this turn was me sculpting into an X one as opposed to a seven hander would have just drawn those outright. Right? So it's possible that I don't have that initial get up and go. But once Yoshimitsu is going, he's going. So one of the things you have to do in order to overcome this weakness as Yoshimitsu is make sure that you're not just an all out attack deck. There's plenty of cards in the in the game that punish my opponent for playing too aggressively, f destroying their uh, aggression with my own defense, interrupting their game plan with my disruptions. There's a beautiful card under all called Telekinetic Mastery that says response, check a six. Every time my opponent plays a damage or speed increase, I'm going to decrease either stat, your choice as the card owner, by two. If they're going to give it plus two damage, I will respond, check my six, give it minus two speed so I can block it easier. Or they're going to give it damage, I'll, I'll reduce the damage. You gave it plus one, I gave it minus two. This is really good in Yoshimitsu because you're making these checks constantly, constantly, constantly. And if you happen to check a five and you need to not commit a card, you can trigger Yoshimitsu, draw two cards in order to, oh, I'll draw two cards minus two your speed, one of the cards that I drew, I'll block with it. It's some really, really cool interactive stuff.
My final thoughts on Yoshimitsu as a character is I think this character is really, really strong. I He can seem on paper very straightforward. He is a character that the more love and attention, more a little more TLC that you put inside of your deck, the more that you're going to get out of it. Like being able to venture out of sight of a weapon package and play things like Rando's Spirit Gun or find interesting interactions like playing a full Yoshimitsu de Foundation Destruction deck. You could play Spirit Gun. You could play Spirit Shotgun in this deck. Spirit Shotguns become very, very fast. Or kill them the old-fashioned way with face splitters. Yoshimitsu is the best damn deck in universes, and you should definitely give them a try. Thank you for watching.